Welcome back to the Snapper Academy. Great at Salesforce on planet Earth, guys. We are out here in Kansas on our second day of the Blitz. Records are gonna be broken. You guys are seeing us get right into it right now. So again, guys, welcome back. As always, click that link right there in the description. If you guys wanna be a part of the Great Salesforce on planet Earth, you guys know what to do. Let's get into it. Hi. Hi, how are you? Are you speaking English today or what's going on? Perfect, come on out here real quick. Let, let's tell you what we got going on. Dang, she's just gonna shut the door. Yeah. All right, guys, so this is Brady's first day knocking doors out here with the greatest Salesforce on planet Earth. And he just asked us, hey, guys, what are three things that you're looking for specifically when you're knocking the door? So the first thing, Brady, is we're looking for signs of life, right? Are the windows open? Are the cars there? Maybe the garage door is open. So the first thing is signs of life. The second thing is, does it look like the roof's good, right? If you're looking at the design of the roof, are there trees blocking it? Is the array of the roof look good? Is it facing the southern uh, plane? Is it facing the western plane, right? We want to have the roofs that are really getting a lot of sun, right? And then the third thing, would be the quality of the roof. So does the roof look like it's been totally destroyed or does it look like a brand new roof that we'd be able to put solar panels on it? But the good news is we also do roof repair. So at the end of the day, dude, we're a home improvement company. We're helping people elevate their home experience, creating the smartest energy efficient home possible. So we want to make sure that the roof looks good. And if not, we can help them with that too. So that's all there is to it. You know, it's yep. really easy. It's all mental. Yep. You just remember that and carry that to every door. Guy right now, he's mowing the lawn. Looks like maybe he's even mowing his neighbor's lawn too. So he, he's excited to talk to us and let's get into it. Hey, how are you? Are you are you mowing your neighbor's lawn too? No? It looked like you were mowing it a little bit. Yeah. Well, hey, my name is Will. We're helping out homeowners that are wearing an NCAA championship hat from 2022. So it's maybe your lucky day. I'm guessing you're the, the homeowner here? Yep. Awesome. How long have you lived here for, if you don't mind me asking? 15 years? You guys are using electricity, obviously. So you probably had a bunch of guys come by letting you know about the rate up uh, changes going on with the utility company. And then they sent out that notice about four or five months ago, letting homeowners know about net metering. Mm -hmm. We got the new net meter on the side of your house. It used to only go one way where you can only pull from the grid. Mm -hmm. Now it's like a, they call it a bi-directional meter. So it goes back to the grid. You can produce your own power on site if you guys qualify for the solar panels. So it's a pretty selective program. Nowadays, you don't have to pay anything out of pocket. They're covering all the upfront costs and you just go from paying that electric bill, call it 100 bucks, 200 bucks, I don't know what your situation is, but you'd get that locked in, about 30%, 40% less than what you're currently paying, and then you never deal with the rate hikes again, plus there's an end date, where at that point you're getting free power to the home. All we're doing is just getting you guys the information, see if it makes sense, see if the roof makes sense, see if you like it, and if you do, then we can help you out with uh, getting qualified for that. Super simple process, but have you had somebody sit down with you before to show you that? I don't want to deal with it. I hear you. What's the biggest thing holding you back? Is it like how it would actually look or was it something else? You don't wanna deal with it? I hear you. And that's why people are doing it because they don't wanna deal with the electricity rates going up. Because when they triple it, now you're dealing with a $400 electric bill and you're paying three times as much for the same amount of power. Just like gas used to be a dollar, now it's three bucks, four bucks. Same, same thing there. It's like this. Let's say you're renting the house, which you, you own it, right? Yeah. But let's say you did rent, because we've all rented before, right? And let's say I came to you and I said, hey, you can take that same amount of money that you're using for rent, which that's what we're doing with electricity, right? We're renting our power. You don't see any return on that investment. And let's say I say you can take that same amount of money, you can own your house like you do right now. You don't gotta pay anything out of pocket though, right? And now you're putting that rent into your mortgage, you're paying off the principal, and eventually you own it, and you can take that and put it into your next house, right? That's exactly how solar works, and that's why everybody's doing it. Because you take what you're already paying for electricity, you do not come out of pocket at all, it's a super simple process, and we just show you what that would look like with our engineer to build out that design for you. And it might not even make sense. If it doesn't make sense, hey, at least now you know. Biggest thing holding you back, you just don't want to take the time? That's it? What about next week? No? All right, I'll leave you with this. Last thing, if you don't mind me asking, then I'm going to get out of here. At the end of the day, a lot of homeowners, you know, they're kind of like, I don't know, they're like sucking on their lollipop, like, I'll do it someday. It's not really a big deal. We don't think the rates are gonna go up. And my job is to come out here and take that lollipop out of your mouth and throw it in the dirt and say, hey, your lollipop's in the dirt. And so you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna see the rates going up at some point, right? We know it's inevitable, just like everything's going up. You, we can both agree inflation's real. And so I, whether you do it or not, it's totally up to you, man. But I just would say, take a look at it and see if it's something that's gonna put you in a better spot financially. Because I know it's sometimes hard to forecast for the future and we just wanna focus on right now. But if you could look five years in the future, we know you're gonna be paying two, 300 bucks a month for electricity. And if you could be getting free power at that point, it would be something that would be worth looking at for five, 10 minutes, right? You know what? Yeah, tell me. You need to run for mayor. All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah you, you'll be good.
All right. You good? All right. I appreciate it. Are you mayor? <laughs> no. Are you still working? No. Man. You're retired? Well, I appreciate that, but <laughs> I'd rather help you go solar. You don't even want to look at it? Nope. Are you sure? Five. Well, of course you're sure, right? Here's your lollipop back. All right. <laughs> Here's your lollipop back, bro. All right. Take care. Bro. All right. Are you the homeowner here? Awesome. My name's William. How are you? Are you able to come outside for just a second? You're busy? I'll keep this super short cut to the chase for you. The reason we're stopping by, just real quick, we're helping a few of the neighbors out with, you've seen the electricity rates that are going up and you probably got that notice in the mail, a little pink yellow slip, talking about how you guys were able to qualify for the new net meter program, where we help you guys out with getting the panels installed. No upfront cost at all, and it's gonna help you guys save a lot of money, but the biggest thing is, whether you um, are able to qualify or not is up to the utility company. So we're the ones that help you out with getting that information. What was your last electric bill? Your husband pays it? Is he home? Darn it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's, that's the hardest part about our job is timing. Have you seen the panels though on people's roofs? What do you think about it? You like it? So your house, it's pretty good looking. How long have you lived here for? 10 years? Well, this is Isaiah. He's really the one that would be able to come out here and help you guys out with getting that information. I just come out here and I set up the time for our engineer to come by and show you guys what that would look like. Would you and your husband have 20 minutes later on today for us to drop off that information for you? Three things that we would do is show you just where they would go, how much you would save, and then how to, how to qualify for it. Yeah, no, exactly right, next time. So when would that next time be? Tomorrow, Saturday. Let's do it. What time would work best for you? Three or four? Okay. So we'll just send you our information and then you confirm that time with us. The only bit of information that I would need from you, it looks like this right here and it's the kilowattage. You know what I mean by that or no? Do you get a paper copy that shows your usage every single month or do you get it on your phone that would look more like this? Where do you, where do you get your utility bill? Can you, can you just see if you can grab it real quick? I'll wait right here. Isaiah, can you take down her information? Yeah. And then we'll just plan on tomorrow at three or four. I hope you have a good rest of your day and we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow, okay? Is there any reason why you wouldn't be here tomorrow? Okay, well, we'll plan on being here and we'll look forward to it, okay? All right, see you later. My name's Isaiah. This is Brady down here with me. We're getting ready to do some work in the area. We're with Nevo Power. Uh, we were just following up on a notice to the rest of these homes in regards to the redirection program. Did you guys get that with your Evergy bill last week? Okay, perfect. It had to do with that rate increase. I don't know if that's affected your bills very much or not. Yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't be either. The, the old program really didn't make sense because it's too expensive, right? Uh, so essentially I'm with the model home program at Nevo. So what I do is I pick about four to five homes in the area to actually take part in that, where we do two things. If we can put a sign in the yard and use you as a reference for the neighborhood. So you guys are perfect. I mean, you're right here on the corner, beautiful garden. Is that all you? It's beautiful. So we would be able to use you as a reference and we cover all those upfront costs for you. Now the idea is this though, I don't know if the house is gonna make sense because I talked to maybe 20 people, only about four or five get picked. So what I do is I build an energy savings report. So you have the info, you make the decision, I don't. Are you doing like billing old school in the mail or are you guys all online? All online. So you've yeah. probably seen something like this here. Basically it's just showing how much power you use. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're using too much power or too little power, I can't do anything, unfortunately. It's just my husband and I. Oh, sure. So we don't have a lot of um, our right. expense. I mean, so. Right. Yeah. You guys already got the kids out of the house and stuff? Yeah. But you look too young to have kids out of the house. I'm going to be 63 on Sunday. Oh, I wouldn't have guessed more than 30 <laughs> now. No. So, yeah. So we don't use a lot of what's come. That's why I said yeah. for us, it doesn't make any sense. Right. So. Right. You know on what average, I mean? would you say your bill's like more than 50 bucks? You know, a low bill is good, but yeah. a lower bill is better, right? Yeah. All right. How's it going, boss man? Good. Pretty good. Are you the homeowner here? Yeah, I am, but what's oh, up? Awesome. My name's Will. I'm just working with a few of the neighbors real quick, letting okay. them know about the solar projects going on. Yeah. Have you guys looked into it or not uh, yet? We're good, but I am working from home right now. So I got you. Yeah. Leave, leave you up a card? Um, I, I'm not the guy that passes out cards. I'm just the one that sets up a time for an engineer to come by, show okay. you three things, where they would go, how much you would save, and how to qualify for it. We're going to be doing a couple projects later on today. Would you have like 15, 20 minutes for us to drop off that report for you? Uh, well, I get off at six. If you guys stop by by then, I can yeah. talk to you about it more. That, that's but awesome. Right now, do, you, sure. do, you, do you know what your last electric bill was by chance, just so we can write that down? No, my wife does. That's your, your wife handles it? Would yep. she be back home around six or seven too? Yeah, she'll be here. Cool. All we would need, brother, is just that graph right there. If you could have that ready when we stop back by it, like sit, call it 6.30 or 7, yep. then we would just show you again like where the panels would go, how much you would save, how to, how, to, how to qualify for it, and then just like answer any questions you guys have. Super simple process. If you guys do qualify for it, okay. it does save a lot of money and you don't have to pay anything out of pocket for it. Yep. A lot of government subsidies, tax credits. We cover all the warranties. We're local. We're in-house. Everything we do is like really to the T. So everyone's going solar eventually. You want to make sure you do it with the right people, which would be us, brother. Hi, how are you? What's up? 
Hey man, we're just stopping by because we love the roof. Are you the homeowner here? Yeah. Awesome. We're the ones that are doing the solar projects. I'm sure you've had a I'm sure you've had a bunch of guys come by here trying to talk talk to you about it or not yet. You guys are using electricity, obviously. Mm -hmm. And because the rates are going up in this area has been flagged as like a high usage zone is what they're calling it. We are the ones that come out here and just get you guys that report. Three things we'd be able to show you is just uh, where they would go, how much you would save and how to qualify for it. Are you the one that handles the electricity bills or is your wife? Yeah. You are? Do you know what your last electric bill was? 200-ish. 200. So all we're doing is just um, looking at that usage right there. You know, on the bottom left of your utility bill, it shows the kilowattage. So if you're using like 20,000 kilowatts or like 10,000 kilowatts, then we would just put that design together for you. Would you be open to seeing what that would look like and seeing if you guys could uh, potentially qualify for it? Right now, I think I'm good. Yeah, yeah. I gotcha. Just gonna like kind of weigh it off until you see like the rates go up or? Uh, maybe. Yeah, it's something that you don't, you don't come out of pocket at all. It's not like you have to like take any money out of your checking account to qualify for it. You literally just stop paying the electricity bill that goes down to zero. And then you would have a much lower amount by 30 to 40% that instead of you paying for electricity, you're paying off the panel. So you're building equity, kind of like owning your house versus renting your house. You would rather own it than rent it, right? Cause when you rent it, you're just paying off some millionaire's house yeah. versus you own it, you get to take the equity, right? So the same thing with the solar. And the reason why we got to do it is cause it's taking stress off the grid. Grid's old, it's outdated, we're pulling from out of state. So the meter on the side of your house, were you here when they uh, updated it a little bit ago? Or yeah. how you were? So it used to be that you could only pull from the grid and now you can actually push back to the grid and then you would get credits on your bill and that's where it rolls over each month. So it's called net metering and we're just the ones that put that report together for you. Take 15, 20 minutes, just show you how much you'd be able to save. But yeah, we would just we would just build that report out for you. We just want to stop by because your, your roof looks perfect for it, man. I'd love to build that report out for you. It's no obligation. It's just getting you that information. If you like what you see and you guys want to qualify for it, then we can put that together for you too. Um, but we're just the ones that qualify the house and give you guys information. Our company's called Nevo. Everything we do is in-house. We're local. We're not an out-of-town company. And it's like, I'm on your side. If it doesn't make sense, don't do it but if it does make sense it would be something you'd want to do for sure yeah right right now i am good yeah um i, I could see my digital business card too and then dude i would just say just get the re get the report you know just get the report um that's, that's a badass dog bro what do you do for work uh i'm a sheriff officer for the county oh cool man how long have you been doing that for about a year about a year yeah cool i would say we're the same age you like 28 or how old are you uh, I'm about to be 26. Oh, only 25, man. Nice. Yeah. Congrats on being a homeowner, homeowner, bro. That's awesome. So what made you want to be a homeowner instead of renting? Just being able to do what I want with my house. Yeah. I don't have to worry about rental payments and possibly breaking stuff and mm -hmm. things like that. Uh, you understand the benefits of owning, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. So instead of putting your money into the landlord's pocket, you'd rather put that in your pocket, right? Yeah. So with the utility company, you've given them the last eight months, I don't know, 150 bucks a month. So you've already given them $1,000 and you don't get any of that money back, right? Yeah. It just goes to them. And if they were to raise the rates, do you, you know right now you're paying like 13 or 14 cents a kilowatt, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say that you use, uh, just for easy math, like 15,000 kilowatts a year, which is probably about what you're doing, times 0.14 cents, you're paying $2,100 a year. So when the rates double and you're paying 28 cents for that 15,000 kilowatts a year, now you went from that 2,100 to 4,200, right? So that's why everybody's going solar because not only are you able to get your rates locked in, right? You're able to put that money into the equity of the house instead of paying for the utility companies, investment bankers yeah. that need to make a profit. They have to replace the wooden poles with metal poles, the grid hardening act. And you've seen all the news, inflation reduction act. It's as simple as this. You either take that money and you put it into the value of your house or you pay it from them burning coal, oil, and fossil fuels. So just here to help you out, man. Again, whether you do it or not, up to you. Yeah. Of course, it's your house, your decision. But I would love to help you out. I know that you go through the process, you would do it because it makes sense logically in every single way. You're putting your money into an asset instead of a liability and you're protecting your rate. So it will never go up again. Five years from now, instead of you paying $300 a month, you'd be locked in probably less than what you're paying a year ago. Simple as that. Okay. Solar makes sense in every single way. You just want to make sure you do it with a company that's local and we can send you our company, company reviews, everything like that. Only reason you wouldn't want to do it is because you're not getting enough sun or because the meter's not up to date, which it is. If everything checks checks off the boxes, like it would be a no brainer for you. And then next summer, instead of getting like two, three, four hundred dollar electric bills, you'd probably have less than half of that. And again, you're not paying the utility company, you're paying yourself. So that's kind of how solar works. So I know you want to wait off on it, but is it okay we just get that report to you? Just at least that way you know like how it works and if your situation even makes sense. Because like if it doesn't make sense, hey, now we know. You don't have to look into it in the future. But if it does make sense, then you guys can kick it around and talk to your accountant, you know, show it to your family, pray about it, whatever you guys gotta do. And then that way like you guys can do it if you guys wanna do it.
we would have our um, our solar engineer come by and just drop that off for you. And then he pulls out his iPad and he would show you guys like a radiance report of your roof, showing you guys where you would get the most amount of sun. And then just walking you guys through how the tax credit works, as well as the qualification process with net metering. And then he would leave that with you guys and he would have that in your email. Um, his name's Christian. He's working with two or three of your neighbors today. Um, so he might be busy today, but if you got some time tomorrow morning or afternoon, would you be available then? And you're, you're married too? Mm -hmm. Would your uh, wife be home tomorrow on 10? So tomorrow at like 10 or 11 works? Yeah. All right, no cool. Let's do it. No obligation. Let's just show you guys how it works. And if you like it, cool. If not, no harm, no foul. Um, but that's awesome that she's a teacher, man. I went to school to be an English teacher too. So I'm helping go, people go solar. Never know. All we need from you guys is just that electric bill. Do you have a paper copy or do you get it in the mail or uh, uh, email? Digital. You have a digital? So this is what we would need right here is uh, that, that graph right there. Are you able to pull it up uh, on your phone real quick? And then while you're grabbing that, I just got to take a picture of the, the meter on the side of your house. Is that on that side, brother, or that side? Um, I think it's on that side. It's on that side. I'm gonna grab that real quick. I'll meet you back here in a minute, all right? It's, it's as simple as this, man. <clears throat> Sun goes up and bills go down. That's it. Instead of you guys pulling from the grid, you guys are able to produce your own power on site. Roof looks like it's pretty new. That's it. So your last bill is 281, huh? Mm -hmm. So I just take a picture of that. Take down the address, which we've already got, and I'll shoot you a text with my digital business card. What's the best number for you, bro? Appreciate you being open. I'm minded, all right? Thank you, man. Um, we'll plan on tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Anything changes, you got my number, just let me know, all right? All right. Looking forward to it, brother. See ya. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hey, we'll make this super short for you. Yeah. I know you're probably busy yeah. working or whatever, but the um, reason we're stopping by is because we're working with two of the neighbors yeah. on the net metering projects. Okay. You, you guys would have got that notice in the mail talking about okay. net metering and the new yeah. updated projects. Do you guys remember getting that little pink yellow uh, slip? No. no. So the, the meter on the side of your house just got updated and it's got updated because now you guys are able to qualify for like getting solar panels on the roof. Yeah. Have you guys looked into that or no? No, no, we're not interested. Totally get it, yeah. I mean, obviously if you guys are interested, you yeah. probably have already looked into it. Yeah. Yeah. All we do is build out the reports for you guys. Uh, your neighbor, they were paying 240 bucks because I'm down to $180, okay. never goes up again. No more inflation. You guys own this house, right? Yeah, yeah. We've all rented in the past. Yeah. Renting sucks, you're just giving the money to the landlord. Yeah. And that's yeah. the same thing with electricity. You're just yeah. giving that money to the utility company. Whereas with solar, there's an end date, the government subsidies with that 30% tax credit. So they've made it make sense logically in every single way. Totally up to you guys. You guys can do it in a couple of years or yeah. you guys can do it whenever you all, whenever you want. Yeah. But what we do is we show you guys where those panels would go, how much you would save, and then how to, uh, how to approve for the program, like how to qualify for the yeah, program. Yeah. You don't come out of pocket at all. Yeah. You just go from paying that like $240 bill. I don't know what your highest bill has been, yeah. but you would get that locked in like 30 to 40% less than, than what it's gonna be, and then no more rate increases. Right. We'll, we'll pass today, but thanks. Yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Biggest thing holding you back is just like, you're busy, uh, pretty much? Yeah, I'm, and baby just started crying too. Like, I got gotcha. you, I got gotcha. um, you. Yeah. You rang the doorbell, dang dude, yeah. you just made me cry more. Yeah. Um, we're gonna be working with your neighbor right across the street tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Yeah. I could swing that report by to you tomorrow. It would take yeah. 15, 20 minutes, answer your questions, see if you guys could save some money. I'll leave you with this. The reason why he did it is because he's paying 14 cents a kilowatt right now. He's using about 15,000 kilowatts a year. So if you're using 15,000 kilowatts a year times that port 14 cents, he's giving the utility company $2,100 a year. That's okay. a lot of money to just give to the utility company. Now when the rates double, which we know they're gonna triple, mm -hmm. right? Now he's paying 28 cents times that 15,000 kilowatts a year. I don't know what your situation is, this was his. He went from paying 2100 to $4,200 a year mm -hmm. for the same amount of power and he doesn't get any of that money back. Whereas with the solar, you do and you have no more rate increases. Mm -hmm. So it's really interesting. This is something that like, it's a really good fit for people. Yeah. And our company is called Nevo. We're local, we're in-house, everything we do, A to Z, we help you guys do the whole project. Okay. Your house is a good fit for it. Mm -hmm. And if you guys are paying for electricity, like you got three options, either just keep on dealing with the rate hikes, live like caveman, draw the lights off, which you can't do because you got kids. Mm -hmm. Option three, save money with solar. Yeah, so yeah. up to you, of course, not here to push you, not here to strong arm you, yeah, but- no, I'll, I'll pass today. You'll pass? Yeah, and again, yeah. just biggest thing holding you back? Yeah, just, uh, yeah, I'm just not interested really, so. Not, not yeah. interested in the solar itself? Yeah, or just not in, interested really, I don't know. I yeah. Just, yeah. So I hear you. I'll, I'll look into it on my own time. I'm definitely not going to make a decision here on my front porch. Not a front so. porch decision. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah so, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, you were nice. Appreciate you taking the time, man. Enjoy Thanks, the rest yeah. of the day, right? Yeah. See, see, see you later. All right, guys, we're about to do our next knocking session here. We've got Christian, Uzi, and Braden. We've got our slicks right here, guys. These are our weapons. So this is a utility bill that is now a dollar by going solar, which is awesome, that's our goal, right? So, speed of leader, speed of the team, and so we're about to see what you guys got, let's get it. We're working with a couple of neighbors, just wanna stop by and see if anybody from Nevo has followed up with you guys about the projects going on in the neighborhood. No. No? So you probably got this, maybe you remember it, maybe you don't, it's talking about how you guys, I was going, sir, you must be the king of the castle. 
We are just stopping by to let you guys know about the projects going on, how you guys have been, uh, this neighbor has been qualified for the new uh, net meter program. The meter on the side of your house, it got updated a couple years ago. That was phase one of the program. Phase two is where we come out here, we conduct these energy reports and see if you guys do qualify for the new program where you guys will be able to opt in. You don't pay anything out of pocket um, to basically have your electric bill. If you look at the back here, you guys are probably paying, like most of your neighbors, 150, 200 bucks a month, 100 bucks in the winter. It's a little bit more in the summertime, obviously, because you guys are using more power. Yeah, exactly. And so as the rates continue to skyrocket, a lot of people that didn't look into it in the past, they're looking into it now because they've eliminated all the upfront costs. And you've seen it all over the news. It's like the Inflation Reduction Act, like the new Green Deal. Okay. And if you guys are getting upset on the roof, meter is up to date, and you guys are paying more than 50 bucks a month, which you are, then you guys will be able to opt in for this. All that we do is build out these reports for you. Drop it off with their engineer. He's right here, his name's Christian. He's incredible, he's really good at this. It takes 15, 20 minutes to answer you guys' questions. Show you guys where the panels would go if you guys do qualify for that. And then, um, yeah, just show you guys how to qualify for it. But the idea here is that you guys would go from paying that 150, 200 bucks to paying a bill that looks like that. Exactly, because if you guys are producing all your power on site, what left does a utility company have to charge you for, right? What it is is that the rates are gonna keep going up and when you guys are paying 20 cents, 30 cents, now you guys are giving the utility company four or $5,000 a year, you're just donating $50,000 to the utility company, whereas with solar, it's less than half of that and then it raises the value of the house, right? And then eventually you guys are getting free power to the home. Just like you guys own this house, right? You guys own it versus yeah, renting it. it. Correct, but at the end of the day, you, once you pay it off, then it's yours, right? Same thing here. All you guys do is just you redirect that to a much lower amount never goes up again, no more inflation. Inflation's real, we know it, and it's gonna bulldoze everybody because they need people to do this, right? It's a community project, and our company's local, we do the install, everything's in-house. Yeah, it's like the numbers just make sense, the roof would make sense, um, and you guys would be really happy when you guys see that your money's not going to the utility company anymore, it's going back into the value of your house, right? So we really just, again, answer those questions for you. It didn't make, make sense in the past. The reason why it makes sense now is because you has, have an immediate return on your investment because you guys are able to get advantage of that tax credit. And so that's that's pretty much it though, that's all we do. We'd love to help you guys out. Um, just give you guys the information. Yeah, and this is Christian. He'd be able to help you guys build, build it out. You said you've looked into it before. So that was, uh, man, those electric rates have gone up tr like tremendously over there. How long ago? The charge is like 50 grand for solar panels. Yeah, really? and so that's like kind of that old program was, like you'd have to pay that 50 grand, but it'd take you 15, 20 years before you saw that return on investment. Mm -hmm. Like if someone here was before was paying let's say 200 bucks a month, but to the solar it's 150 and they have a dollar electric bill, that's I mean, an immediate return on investment. And so that's what we're seeing here. How long have you lived here now? A little over a year. Right, so it's just really similar to like what you did with Evergy. Like when you bought your house, you didn't have to pay them any money to put the meter on the side of the house. You didn't have to pay them any money to run these power lines. You just got opted into their program. You didn't really like pick who your power company was, if that makes sense. Right. And then since you've been here this year, when they increased the rates in April, like, did they ask you for, for, for permission to do that? No. Right, like we all have to pay it, right? And so our program is where you actually get to see the numbers way before we would even do it. And the other thing is we don't really know if your house qualifies. You know, we've, we've had, if you can see a lot of your neighbors here, they're just covered in shade. You guys got a bullseye on your roof for solar. This is the scan of your roof. This is what we were talking about. So if you see this really bright color on your garage here, mm -hmm. uh, despite that tree being there, you guys have so much sunlight that's, that's hitting that. That's why everyone's fighting for your business. And so I have, I've had a couple of clients where, like, where maybe they have like a fixed income. This program really makes sense to them because again, regardless of your situation, when they increase those rates, they're not considering those that might have like a fixed income. They're just increasing it anyways. Whereas we have something that's locked in or something that's on your own terms, if that makes sense. You know, they, okay. didn't, they didn't present to you five different options before, when you moved in, they just enrolled you. You know, I'm not here to like pull your arm or, you know, twist your leg, pull any of your teeth. We're just, we, we really want to help you guys out. Uh, and a lot of the folks that we've sat down with are seeing like immediate savings. The worst thing is if we can't help you, then you're just stuck with the, with the utility company and then we just can't help you at all. But I, I do apologize because we have to get to an appointment here in a second. Would you guys be available around 6.30, 7 o'clock? So that graph that's shown on your electric bill, if you're using too much power and we can't eliminate it, because it is true, some of the, the back of your home is restricted by that tree. If we can't pr produce enough with this, we would just call you and cancel because it just wouldn't make sense. We don't want to waste your time. We have a lot of people still, you know, if you can see all these roofs here, not all of them have solar. We got a lot of people still to help out here. That's um, what, I'm, what I'm saying is if we can't help you out, we would just call you and cancel. Yeah, we're here this evening. Okay. Do you get the electric bill by mail or is it all sent to you? It's, I get it on my phone. Um, do you know what side of the house your meter's on? Hell no. Um, was there any dogs back there? 
Yeah, but she don't bite. Her name is Sissy. She's a pit bull, but she's really sweet. I'll go check that meter. If Will can maybe help you pull up that bill, we'll get a Ooh. snapshot of that, and then we'll, we'll just swing back by around like six or seven o'clock. And, okay. and it, like, like I said, if it doesn't make sense, we'll just call and cancel. We're looking for the graph. It looks just like that. You got that on your phone? Hang on. Cool. That's how you do it, folks. Do you want the usage graph? Yes, ma'am. 128, that's the graph right there, that's it. Christian will just snag a picture of that and then we can put that report together for you. And actually, do you mind if I borrow that for just a second? Sure. I'll show you one other thing. So whether you believe it or not, like you pay for a lot of solar energy on your bill right now, whether or not you have it on your home. So like your neighbors that have it, it's because they're selling it back to the utility company so that they can produce more of this energy yeah. in this area. So like if this house had solar, it's just putting power back on the grid. Okay, it's like there is. Like there is, and right, and then you guys are using that power at some point. Bullshit. And so like if you look at this last bill, <laughs> I'm not sure if you look at it, because it's kind of like gasoline. You know, like we can complain about gas, but we're still gonna put it in our, in our tank. Unless yeah. you had an, an electric vehicle in there. No, that's not an electric Because if you had an electric vehicle, then you definitely need solar, but. So like on this bill where you had $120 of a balance, uh -huh. You only use $66 worth of energy. You had to pay them for the fuel because you got to get the coal out of the ground, burn it. They've got to bring it all the way from Kansas City all the way down these power lines, and that's a big distance. So you have to pay for that, and then you also have to pay for the transmission, which truthfully, that's kind of like double dipping. It should be the exact same fee, but you paid that twice there. So, you know, like you're a pretty moderate user, although you, you spend a lot of time at home possibly. It's only $66 that you really paid, but you paid $120 for it. And so when the power is produced on your house, we don't have to use all these power lines. It's just going right back into your home. We'll uh, we'll put that together and we'll pop by uh, six o'clock and okay. show you how that works. Like I said, if it doesn't make sense, we'll just give you a call. Okay. All right. All right, guys. We had an incredible day on the doors out here on our second day in Kansas with the greatest sales force on planet Earth. Mr. Christian's about to go on home and close another deal. And guys, as always, if you want to be a part of the team, all you gotta do is click the link in the description right here. We'll reach out and see if you guys have what it takes to be a part of the greatest sales force on planet Earth. And until then, guys, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Let's get it. Go.